Hey guys and welcome back. In today's video, we will talk about multiplying radicals. Radicals are mostly used to determine the square root of a number. It can also be used to describe a cube root, a fourth root, or higher. While we're multiplying radicals, when we're simplifying, we need to divide the number under the radical sign with a number that can be divided evenly, so that we can get rid of the radical sign over that number. For example, if we end up with 63 radical 4536 before simplifying, then we divide 4536 by 324, because it can be divided evenly. Our first problem asks, what is 3 radical 12? times 2 radical 6. When we multiply radicals, we multiply the numbers outside and inside of the radicals. So, 3 times 2 equals 6, and 12 times 6 equals 72. So now we have 6 radical 72. Now we have to simplify. We will divide 72 by 36, which equals 2. So now we have this equation. To get 36 out of the radical sign, so we divide 36 by 6, and that equals 6. 6 times 6 equals 36, so our answer is 3 radical 12 times 2 radical 6 equals 36 radical 2. Our next problem asks, what is 7 radical 25 times 8 radical 8? So first, we'll multiply 7 and 8, and that equals 56. And then, we'll multiply 25 and 8, and that equals 200. So, we have 56 radical 200. We'll multiply, we'll divide 200 by 100, and that equals 2. So, we'll have this equation. So, we need to get the radical uh, over the 100 gone. So, we'll divide 100 by 10, that equals 10. So, 56 times 10 equals 560. And so, our answer is 7 radical 25 times 8 radical 8 equals 560 radical 2. Thanks for watching. We hope that you learned something new today. See you next time.